Hello everyone. Bonjour, mon ami. And today we will speak about fragrances that was nominated for fragrance fragrance awards. Um, the Fragrance Foundation is a big community who every year do a lot of job to find the best one, celebrate the best fragrance. So we decided to find what we have in the store from the Fragrance Foundation Awards 2023 and talk about this fragrance. Yeah, we have six fragrances, finalists. Yeah, they all of them are finalists. Some of them even won. Yeah, yeah even won the competition uh, in category. I don't remember the category. category perfume is Extraordinary. A, yeah, Perfume Extraordinary. So let's start with... No, no we should start with something light. Uh, Vision okay. is pretty heavy. So we will start with, with seven to four seven Maison to four Francis. Maison Francis Jean. We spoke about this, this fragrance. Yep, not long time ago. It's mm -hmm. too fresh. It's very fresh. Yes, it's aldehyde, zonic, citrusy, bergamot. For me, it's a scent of success on the Wall Street. It's clean, fresh, fresh. clean. Yes. Yeah, and kind of energetic. Have this. Vibes of uh, vibes of um, kind of energy inside, like you know, electricity. Even I just uh, have a picture in my uh, brain. It's like when you, it remind me the glass, beautiful glass, oh. crystal, beautiful, not regular, like from from Queen. <laughs> okay, glass with uh, lemon not inside. Oh, like sparkling something so so fresh. Cold. Yep, yep, agree. Agree. And this um, this fragrance was nominated in mm -hmm. luxury perfume. Universal yep. luxury. Oh yeah, universal universal luxury. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely agree, you can use it everywhere, anywhere, at any time. I think more like kind of office style, it give you fresh energy, uh, refreshness and energy and yeah. yep. And something like energetic. Well, we will go. We will go to the next one. Will be blockade, which was nominated in men's luxury perfume. Oh, this is yes. a men's world. <laughs> yeah, this fragrance is usual. Oh my god! Finally, finally, I can feel mango. For me, it wasn't mango. Like for this, how 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 many days we have it? Like oh, three, months. I think yeah, months. months. Every time I smell it. It can be whatever it possible, cassis, more cassis than something else. And uh, today I can feel mango. It's mango skin, mango flower. I still can feel cassis. It's impossible to unfeel it. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful scent. I like yeah. it. And the packaging is so, so beautiful. Mm. Even mango lavender. skin, pink pepper, bergamot. Lavender, mango flowers, anise, anise. Patchouli, patchouli. Uh, patchouli wood. Beautiful mix. Yep. I think this it's not only men fragrance. I am, um, this absolutely unisex, unisex fragrance. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's men. Slightly fruity, slightly sweet. It depends how it works with your skin. On my skin, longevity is amazing. On Victoria, it's not. Yes. But I really like it. I think it's because you, you're just not a fan of perfume. That's, that's because of this. Uh? I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and uh, we move to... Ooh. Yeah, like, we, we will start with another one, and then there will be three in one category. Yeah. So another one will be packaging, packaging of the year. year. But I think all mind games yeah. should be in this category. The packaging is uh, really dedicated good, to the yeah. chest. So beautiful, so fancy, woody, like, cover on the top. A nice and idea. Like the details is so nice, so beautiful, and um, and I would say this one is my favorite one from the collection. The COVID. Yeah, it's more like a dark artisan chocolate, not over gourmand. It have a chocolate, but with something woody inside, something even a bit a bit zesty inside. It says uh, it's pimento oil, pink pepper, orange bitters. Agave Orange. flower, cinnamon, geranium, dark chocolate, vetiver bourbon, and sandalwood. 
You know, it's like dark, dark chocolate with orange. Yeah, yeah, I can, I definitely yeah, can feel this. You know, even taste. Yeah, even taste of dried orange that they put inside of this artisan chocolate. It's like I feel exactly like like chocolate with orange. So this one is something always give me a feeling of something magic nearby. Like when I'm nervous, it's something like a Harry Potter movie, but more mature. Not like, not for children, like more mature Harry Potter movie, like without magic around us. Kind of dark, dark colors from, like in Harry Potter movie in general, it's more like dark uh, ambience around. Gothic structures, like, I don't know, something mm -hmm. like this. It's something um, I really, really enjoy. And we will move to three fragrances that all in one category. Perfume Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Yes. And, uh, Extraordinary. Extra, extraordinary. Oh, yeah, and one of them, this is finalist. Finalist, and, and this, uh, and Grisha and Alexei won the competition. Yeah. So we will start with, again, with the most light one, will be Encelade by Marc Antoine Barois. First time I will try it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What is it? This fragrance constructed oh. around cannabis. Oh. It's kind of slightly citrusy. So you know, according to Fragrantica, what's inside? Vetiver, rubber, Vet sandalwood, tonka bean, cedar, and... On the blur, I can feel more um, cannabis with... Kind of citrusy, maybe it's from rhubarb, like this sour feeling. Citrusy, yeah, like from rhubarb. I think, uh, kind of, for me, it's more cannabis than anything else. Like, I don't feel... Interesting. Even some spices inside. But it's e extraordinary. Yeah, it's something yeah. different. Uh, yeah. may maybe not for Canada, since we have cannabis everywhere. So for this category, it's perfect. Yep. Sure. Yep. Uh, another will be from Mind Games, Garde. Extraordinary as well. Yep. Ooh, this leathery. Mm -hmm. Sweat. Apricot, blackberry leaf, pink pepper. Oris, jasmine, samba, cassis, but black then, leather, cedarwood, and popcorn. <gasps> yes, <laughs> yes. This popcorn, popcorn. Is leather. Now I feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 It's a leathery yeah. popcorn <laughs> you fragrance. Are, you are eating uh, popcorn. In, uh, wearing leather, leather jacket. <laughs> New on, on one. A, on a naked body. Yeah. <laughs> new, new jacket. To make it more sexy. <laughs> a new jacket so you, you can feel this scent. Or you you eat popcorn in new car with leather seats. Wow. <laughs> Extraordinary. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And... Grish Chanel Extra. Grish Chanel. No, it's so obvious. It's so. spicy, thick with sandalwood. So, cardamom, black tea, thick, iris, vetiver. Yeah, if you compare it with original Gris Chanel Eau de Parfum version, and this one will be more spicy, more intense, more woody even. Uh, original version is much more uh, gender, gender neutral. Mm -hmm. Gris Chanel Extra opens much more masculine, much more masculine, with this spicy, and I, I think it's a, like, it's a boss fragrance. It's someone who, who rules the company, no? Okay. You don't? Mm. Yeah, maybe, yes, yes. Extraordinary? Yes. Yes, definitely. So. What's your favorite? My favorite, Blockade. My favorite will be Blockade. And, and that's it. And if that's it, that's it. We should say goodbye. <laughs> what? Which is? Ah, you say you like this. Yeah, I like this. I I don't I I I wouldn't change my mind. Okay. I like it. So, if you have something here that you like, let us know. It's always a joy to hear a word from you. And thank you for your support. Thank Stay you. fragrant. Bye, guys. Bye.